Welcome to the Phineas J. Leghart Vampire Killing Kit, The Fortress. This video is just going to walk you through quickly the first time you unpack the fortress. When you take out the kit, first thing you're going to see is this will be packed in with it. Now notice it says, do not throw away hand-aged manual inside. This will be taped up. Once you carefully open it so that you don't cut the hand-aged manual inside, you'll see the hand-aged manual and a hand-aged letter from Phineas. Just unsnap it here, open the latches, and open up the kit. Now when you first open it, first thing you'll notice is we have a towel in there. This is to help it in moving around, help everything to hold everything down so it doesn't get shipped around when you're carrying it from one place to another. It's also good for wiping down the kit, and it also is a part of the display. It'll come with a leather strap. It is right next to the mallet. You take it out, tie it around, and then you can put it with the display. Now, when you first get your kit, the revolver and the dagger will be packed outside of the kit. So when you first open your kit, it'll be like this. Now the dagger will be wrapped outside and so will the uh, pistol. Just unwrap them, lift this center section up by grabbing with two fingers here and with two fingers here. Don't try to grab it from the center and lift because it's a hidden compartment so it's kind of a tight fit. So if you try to lift it, it's going to wind up jamming up on you and not pulling out. So just grab here and here, lift straight up and then the compartment comes out. Then once you open the compartment, you'll see a section for the dagger to fit in, and it fits nice and tightly in there. It'll hold it in place. Then we put back the compartment, and then we can put our pistol in place. Now that we have the dagger and pistol in place, let's go over a quick inventory of what comes with your kit. First we have the two hand stakes, and then we have the large master stake. Now notice everything in the lid is held on by leather straps. Now they are tied in a square knot for decorative purposes. You could use any type of knot you like. Then we have the hand aged Bible which has a wooden holder here that it rests on, and then again the leather strap tied with a square knot. Then we have the pins, or also uh, sometimes called cross stakes, and these of course were used to nail through the vampire's hands to hold him down to the ground as you stake him. Okay, as we take a look at the rest of the kit, first thing we notice are the jars. We've got the holy water, garlic powder, and the mustard seeds. Now, when you first open it, they'll be packed upside down. The reason for that is it's supposed to look like it's in a suitcase, and so if it was standing up, these would be upright. But on display, you may not want it that way. So it is designed so that you can turn it around and have them facing either direction. So you can turn each of them around for your display. It's completely up to you how you wish to display the items. Now, we also have our handcuffs, our shackles, and these are replica shackles, the old-fashioned kind with what's called a screw key. Now the screw key worked by going into the shackle here, and then you would twist it like a screw. And you would just keep twisting it until it released the shackle. And to tighten it, you just unscrew it, and you're done. Now, the Shackles will be wrapped up uh, to protect them during shipping. Uh, they will be in their compartment though, and the key will also be in there with them. So be careful you don't lose the key. Next we move on to the spyglass to help you hunt down the creature of the night. That goes right in its compartment. Then of course you have the mallet in its compartment the rosary beads. 
Now again, this will be wrapped up. It'll be in its location, but it will be wrapped. Uh, I wrap all the small parts to make sure that they don't get damaged or lost in shipping. Then of course we have the sundial and compass. That again will be wrapped. Then we have our vials. Again, that will be covered and wrapped. It'll be in its same location, but it will be covered and wrapped to make sure that it's not uh, damaged during shipping. Then, of course, we have our stakes in their compartment. It is popped right in there. And here we have the lead balls for the pistol. Now, the reason for the lead balls in the pistol is there is a Romanian belief that you can kill a lesser sleeping vampire by firing a lead ball through its coffin as it sleeps. Then, of course, we have our revolver. And as I showed you during the packing and unpacking, um, we have in the hidden compartment, we have the dagger. And again, whenever revealing the hidden compartment, make sure you grab it with two hands, one, two fingers here, and two fingers here, and lift straight up, because it is a tight fit. So if you try to grab it from the center and lift it up, it's going to wobble, it's going to lock in, and it's not going to work for you. Anyway, that's pretty much the kit. If you have any questions, you can always reach me at walter at mysteriouspast.com or go to our website, www.mysteriouspast.com. Thank you very much.